Hello, hello guys! So in today's video, I'll be making roasted chicken in air fryer. And I'll be sharing you my simple recipe in making this. And at the same time, I also wanted to experiment and compare two brands of air fryer, my Kosori and Philips, in making this roasted chicken. Because if you don't know guys, Philips have this unique feature in their basket, having this twin turbo star technology. While Kosori have a basket which represents most of the regular air fryers, like having these flat simple parts. And I'm really curious and wanted to know, will there be any big differences between the two types of basket in cooking? So stay tuned and let's see the outcome of the roasted chicken. And I'll also be comparing in detail some of the features between the two air fryers along the way. So let's start first by preparing the chicken and the coating ingredients that I used are just very simple and can be easily accessible in your kitchen. But I can assure you it produces foolproof delicious results. Although the lemongrass is optional, I just love to add this as a stuffing because of the smell and taste it imparts on the chicken. I'll also list the ingredients in the description box below guys. So in a bowl, let's combine 1 third cup of melted butter cloves of garlic and you can mince it using a knife but I love to use my garlic press because it extracts the juice and gives off more flavor and aroma to the dishes and I used around 6 cloves of garlic for this. Then I added around 1 half tablespoon salt, freshly grounded black pepper and I used half of the lemon and manually squeezed the juice into the butter mixture. Mix it well, and actually the amount of ingredients depends on your preference. I was just literally estimating everything and you can't go wrong with this. Well, except for the salt. Don't add too much guys. Then set aside. Now let's slice the lemongrass and I wanted to stuff this inside the cavity of the chicken. How many of you have tried this? And do you like it as much as I do? By the way, this is what I do with my lemongrass. Slicing it thinly like this and bending it so that I can get more from its aroma. But before we coat and stuff the chicken, let's prep it first by patting it dry with a kitchen towel. And loosening the skin using a spoon like this. We're doing this because we will drizzle and rub most of the butter mixture inside the skin to ensure maximum taste and every inch of the chicken will be covered with flavor. Then if your butter mixture becomes like this, just melt it again in the microwave so that you can easily drizzle this all over the chicken. Pour the melted butter mixture outside and mostly inside the loosened skin. And rub it like this. Also rub some of the mixture inside the cavity. Then we will stuff the cavity with lemon wedges and lemon grass. And we're done with the chicken so let's now prepare the air fryers. But before we start, I would like to show you in detail the differences of the basket parts between Philips and Kosori. For Philips, the basket has more detachable parts than Kosori. The handle can be detached and the bottom of the inner basket can also be detached for thorough cleaning. Then the outer basket have this dual star-shaped bottom which they call as twin turbo star technology, which they said generates hot air fast like a tornado that results in even heat distribution. However, for Kosori, it has only two simple parts, the inner basket with non-detachable handle and bottom, and the outer basket. And as I have said earlier, this kind of simple basket is the most common design with other air fryer brands. As you can see, Philips has a more promising feature on the basket. But let's see if does it really make a huge difference with cooking. More differences between Philips and Kosori is that Philips have smaller LCD screen that can be controlled with this dial and have only 4 presets, while Kosori has a wider LCD screen which is also a touch screen and has 11 presets. But we will not use these presets and we will cook the roasted chicken manually. 
So let's now start and preheat both air fryers first at 180 degrees for 3 minutes. Though for Kusori, because the original setting is actually in Fahrenheit and I changed to Celsius, the closest temperature I can get is 182 degrees Celsius. After preheating the air fryers, let's now place the chicken on the baskets. Then let's cook it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, flip it on the other side and cook again for 10 minutes. And done! Let's now try and compare the roasted chickens. This is from Philips and looks like really evenly cooked. And this one is from Kusori. Ooh, well, I can immediately observe guys and as you can see, the roasted chicken from Kusori has more juice dripping from it. Let's slice the one from Philips first. looks indeed well cooked and the meat looks soft and tender then let's check the one cooked from Kusori mm, interesting guys actually this one definitely looks more juicy than the one cooked from Philips look at the glistening juice on the meat and it's also perfectly cooked the meat also looks soft and tender how about you guys? Can you also see the difference between the roasted chickens? I'm actually quite surprised with the outcome because at first I was thinking that the additional feature of the Philips having this unique TurboStar technology would really make such difference. But I think not because both air fryers cook the roasted chickens really well. Although for me, Kosori produces much better result because it's more juicy. So for this comparison, I would prefer the roasted chicken from Kosori. And so this ends our little experiment and I hope this will help you in choosing your air fryer if you're thinking of buying one. And for everyone's information, if you wanted to own this Kosori air fryer and you're located in US, you can have the discount code in the description box. So bye for now guys and see you on my next video!